Hey YouTubers, um, I'm back with another video, and this video from RPG Maker XP will cover um, basic events and how to make them. So basically, you're gonna go to your events layer, which is right next to your third layer, and you're gonna go on your map and click anywhere. Really, don't make it awkward like I said last time. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click on a square any square and it will basically pop up in this window now you can basically split this screen kind of in half right here is um, what your events gonna do and right here is um, how your event is gonna be controlled so basically we're gonna make the most simplest event you're gonna go here and you're gonna click on the at sign and the arrow and you're gonna double click it will bring up this little box with a bunch of confuzzling um, events that you can do and we're gonna do on the first tab so you're gonna go to the first tab and you're gonna go on show text you're gonna click this it'll bring up another window so it says show text and you can basically type in anything so I'll just say like hi there exclamation point make it better I don't know. And then you're going to press OK. It will close both windows and you will basically have a thing that says text, colon, and hi there. And now <coughs> um, you're finished with that. You can make another text if you want to. You're just going to click under it again and press on show text. Um, the next, the other half of it is how your event is going to be controlled. I'm going to go over the bottom half right now, I'll do the top half because it's more um, confusing. And down here it looks confusing but it's really the most simplest thing in the world. So right here it says graphic, you can double click and basically you have all your graphics. Um, as I said in the last video, under actors it's the same thing. So you're going to pick any kind of actor, I'll just make them no no sure and right here is your little diagram of your graphics so these little rectangles that I'm clicking on right now is how your events gonna stand when he where is he gonna face so I'm just gonna make him facing forward which is towards the bottom of your screen press ok and your next thing you're gonna do is your uh, autonomous movement or whatever that says and you're gonna go next to type you can you, you're gonna come with four options um, fixed random approach and custom fixed is standing still he doesn't move random is he moves around randomly approach means he comes towards you and custom is um, any kind of custom movement you want him to do so you can just do move left move right blah blah blah, blah da, 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 yeah, whatever but you can do whatever you want for there. So I'm just going to go to fix, which, which means stand still. Now here's the speed and frequency. Right here, um, if you want him to move really, really slow, you press slowest, fastest is really fast, obviously. And down here is your lowest frequency and your highest frequency. A little rule of thumb, you got to, if you want to make it look better, if you go slowest here, you got to go right here and press on 1, it says lowest. So I'm just going to make him low and slow. Since he's not going to move, it's not really going to matter. Right here under options is how your event's going to move. Um, move animation means he moves. Stops means he doesn't move. Um, direction fix is when you, if you click on him, say he's facing down, you click above him. He won't turn towards you. He'll stay the sa same way and maybe like do something. Through means you can walk right through him, and always on top means he's always on top of anything, no matter like who or what. Um, under trigger is your um, how you're uh, gonna talk to him or whatever. How the event's gonna be triggered, obviously. And action buttons means you press the space bar to um, to make him talk or for an event to go in action. Player touch means the player touches him. Event touch means an event or you can touch him and the event will occur. Um, 
Auto run means right when you enter it or right when the scene starts, you the event will be in motion. In parallel process, um, it's kind of like auto run, but it runs a, it can run as other events are running too. So that's basically two thirds of your event page. And what you're gonna do is press apply and OK, and you have your event right here. So if you want to test it out. Save changes. You can just press spacebar for a shortcut instead of dragging your mouse over there. So you have your game, press new game, and you have a character. You can, as you can see, there's a guy right here. He doesn't move. He doesn't do anything until you click on him. So you click on him, and he says hi there. And that's uh, very, very basic. I know it doesn't look very good, but whatever. So um that is it for this tutorial subscribe like whatever do whatever you want and yeah this was basically it see you later